Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of Cool Text Effects in Affinity Photo. If you haven't seen part 1, check the link in the description. Let's start with the Star Wars effect. After I add the text, I will change its color to yellow and add the black fill layer. Now let me duplicate the text a couple of times and group them. The Star Wars effect is actually pretty easy to do. We just apply a perspective to it. Awesome! To finish the effect, I will add a gradient on top of it, so the text fades out in the distance. Pretty cool! The fade effect will only work if the background is black. Let's suppose we are going to use a different background color. Then, it would be better to apply a fade on the group itself. We can do this by moving the gradient to the group. Ok, this clips the text group based on the gradient, so we need to switch sides on the gradient. Let's resize the gradient rectangle so it fits all the text now and fine tune the gradient to our liking. Awesome! Now, if I change the background color, you see the gradient on the text keep working. I see, I forgot to widen the gradient rectangle. Let me fix that, so the bottom text is also shown without clipping. Time to move to the next effect, the text twirl. Let's start by adding the text first. Now, instead of duplicating it with a regular duplicate, I will duplicate it linked. This will allow me to change all the text in one go, as you will see in a minute. Sadly, the duplicate linked does not have the same function as the power duplicate. So, after each duplicate linked, I need to update the position. Once ready with the text, I will group them and apply the twirl filter. Remember, you can set the center point of the twirl with your mouse. To make things interesting, let me add another twirl effect, but this time, the angle will be in the opposite direction. Looks pretty cool, isn't it? Now the cool part. As we duplicated all the text linked to each other, I can change the text very easily. The twirl effect is so nice to play with. I just can't stop playing with it. Anyway, enough play, back to work. Let's move to the next effect, the colored sinus wave. This is a pretty simple effect. Let's add our text first and group them. Now, I will just add a procedural texture to the group From the preset drop down, I will select the overlapped sine waves. Pretty awesome, right? If we give the background a nice color, the effect really comes to life. That's it for this video. I hope you like these effects. Let me know in the comments what you think of it and if you like to see more text effects. Thanks for watching.